Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Kay and today I'm going to be doing a college day of my life video so you guys can come to school with me and see what a typical day of college is like. As you might have heard, I'm doing virtual school this year and so this is gonna look pretty different than like a normal college day in my life from pre-COVID, but I figure you still like might wanna see how I do things. I'm gonna be talking about like vision stuff, how I, um, you know, do all of my classes in terms of like vision-y things. And then I'll also be talking about dog stuff. I have a guide dog and so I'll be showing you like what I do for him throughout the day as well. Um, obviously again, as I said, like things are super different right now. This is not like normal, but it is like normal right now. Anyway, someday when the pandemic is over and I'm back in school like for real, I will update this video. I'll do a new video about my like normal day in my life at school. Um, but today I figured I would do a day in my life of virtual pandemic school. So I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna go get breakfast, get my dog breakfast and take him outside so we can start our day. <laughs> All right, we just ate and went outside, and now, I don't know what day you're watching this, but on the day I'm filming it, it's December 1st, so I have to get Zenith his first of the month preventatives. Zenith, do you want treats? Hi, ready? Just a sec, okay? I opened them up for you. I opened them. Do you want it? Ready? You want more? More treats? Okay, just a sec. Ready? Here. Good boy. Good job. Okay, now that's done, we can start our day. So I'm going to get out his calm, which we keep in the freezer overnight. Do you want to take calm? And then we're gonna go do school while he chews on a pong. Here you go, buddy. Good boy. Here, let's go. Come on. Let's go. See it upstairs. <laughs> All right, so now we're here in our school room for the rest of the day. If you want to see what it looks like, I made a tour video like showing you our study space, so I can link it here if you want to see. But anyway, Zenith is just chewing, and I'm going to start my day. So first things first, I have to readjust the windows. That's what I do first thing every day. It was like dark and rainy out yesterday, so I have my window all the way open, which is definitely not, well, like the curtain all the way open, you know, definitely not good for today. It's very sunny out. So first, we're going to close that some. Much better. All right, um, now that that's done, I'm gonna start with econ homework today. So I have class at 10.30, which is in about an hour. So until then, I'm going to do my economics homework. The way that I like to do econ is on my laptop stand. So here, let's see, here's my laptop stand. It's just from Amazon. Um, I just put my laptop, not my laptop, what am I saying? I put, um, my iPad on my laptop stand so that way I can have it up nice and close to my face um, to do my econ homework and I always do like my work facing um, the wall of like I have a corner desk I do it facing the wall as opposed to facing like the windows here walls there so anyway um, I do it facing the wall so that way I'm not like looking into the bright light of the window that's just like for zoom so I can like have decent lighting um, but anyway, now let's just get started on my econ. Alright, so now it's less than 10 minutes until my 10.30 class, so I'm getting ready for that. I thought I'd show you what I do to like set up for class, get ready. So here I have my laptop on my laptop stand now. It's plugged in. I always have it plugged in during class. Um, and I'm just opening up a document to... Um, here, let's see. Okay, so now I'm just opening up a document for my notes. And I'm just gonna get this document ready so that way when class starts, I can just start um, taking notes. I don't have to like be fiddling around trying to like get this set up. So I always get this ready by typing the word title at the top. And then over here, I go to um, the Harvard option. That's 
I don't know what I like to take notes because it has like the little different Roman numerals and things. So this way when I start taking notes I can write down the title of whatever the lecture is and then after that I can just immediately start going and like the bullet points are all there and ready. Next I just save this. I always hit command s like periodically throughout class so that way I don't lose my stuff. So here let me type that in. All right so I typed in the title, which is Poli Sci 231 Lecture Notes, and then the date. That's how I organize all my stuff. And now I'm just moving it to my Poli Sci 231 folder. All right, and then it's there, ready, Command S. Now this is good to go. In class, I usually do like the split screen, so I'll have my notes on one side and the zoom on the other side. Um, I don't know, that's just how I like to do it. It's not great with this size monitor, but like it works. And then if I need to see something in the zoom, I'll just like zoom into it, um, but for the most part I'm just listening and typing and not looking at either really, even though they're there, I don't zoom into them to like be able to see them. Okay, now I'm just going into Canvas and like finding the link for the zoom and all that stuff for class. I have four minutes until class starts, so that's good. Um, I'm not gonna like film me being in class because that's against our like code of conduct for zoom classes and like I don't wanna get in trouble. Um, but basically this is my setup. I just have my laptop on its stand. I have my window in front of me so that I have reasonably okay lighting um, while still being mostly closed so it's not too bright. And then also if it gets like brighter during class, I have these like white curtains that I will close and then just like that, then you can still like see me like there's some light but it's not like hurting my eyes. So yeah, I usually adjust like the curtains during class as I need to as like the light changes. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go to class and I will see you after. By the way, Zenith is still chewing his calm. He's happy. And I'm just waiting for class to start. But it's been, I don't know, a little over an hour and he's still happy chewing. Okay, I survived class. It is 11.48. Class was supposed to get done at like 11.30ish, so that's kind of annoying. Um, this professor like always goes long. But anyway, now that I'm done class, I'm going to go get lunch. Um, Zenith has been done his Kong for a while. He's just hanging out um, in his dog bed. But anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna go eat lunch and take Zenith out and then do more work in the afternoon. <laughs> All right, so it has been a little bit since lunch. It's been like a couple of hours. I um, finished up the econ homework that I was doing this morning and then I was just crocheting a little bit because I was waiting um, for my class to be posted. I have a 1.30 class that's an asynchronous one. So our professor just like posts a video um, and we watch it whenever we want really. So she was supposed to post it at 1.30 and it's been like a long time now it's past 2 30 but it's finally posted so i'm going to do that now so this is my site class i thought i'd just show you like how i do that so here i am on my couch uh that's one of the benefits of online school i suppose i can do it from my couch um so i'm just hanging out here because it's comfortable i have the shades behind me closed so that there's no glare on my laptop screen and then i have my laptop here for taking notes i did the same thing as for my other classes where i wrote the word title and then i will put the title there once the class starts. And then I have my bullets ready for when I start, you know, taking notes. I have it saved in my psych folder with the date. Um, so that's all ready. And then over here on my iPad, I have the lecture so I can watch it. I prefer to just have the lecture on my iPad and type on my laptop. And then um, honestly, usually I don't even like look at the lecture. I just hear it. But then if there's something that I need to see on the screen or like a definition I didn't get all the way or whatever, I'll just pause it and then, you know, triple tap zoom to zoom in and read whatever it is that I need to see on the screen. But for the most part, my iPad just sits right there and plays the lecture while I'm frantically typing lecture notes. Um, and that works for me. Asynchronous classes are kind of nice because you can just like relax on the couch and like pause if you need to. And I don't know, they're kind of kind of nice. Um, I guess there are pros and cons to each. But anyway, I'm going to get into class. Right now, Zenith is just hanging out. He was just playing with his hedgehog, but then he stopped, so. I don't know, he has lots of toys to play with if he wants to, or he can just relax. Um, he's obviously done his Kong by now, so it's just time for him to hang out and me to get work done. Okay, I survived my psych class. <laughs> it was exhausting. Came back up here, so that way uh, I plugged in my laptop to charge. Um, and I thought I'd show you my, like, um, I guess organization system that I use to, like, help me remember what classes I have won and stuff, especially with live classes. So here on my desk, 
I have my laptop charging. Um, but in the corner, I keep a piece of paper that says every day what day of the week it is, um, what classes I have at what times. So today I had a poli sci class at 10.30, and that was a live one. And then I had a psych lecture, which was asynchronous, so I didn't have a time. Now I've finished both of those things for today, so I'm just going to go to the next paper. I always um, switch like which paper is on top after I've finished all the things on the page. So now, um, you know, this is what I have to do tomorrow. And then once I get that done, I will go on to Thursday. Um, but that works well for me. It helps me remember when like my live classes are and stuff. Also, I have alarms set on my phone. So 10 minutes before class every day, every class that's live, I get like my phone goes off and then the title of the alarm is the name of the class. So I never have missed a class or forgotten to go to a class or anything like that because my phone always reminds me, which is really helpful. Um, but anyway, next thing I have to do is start memorizing flashcards, which I really don't want to. Um, but I have to. So this is, I believe, the deck for today. I'm just going to count them out and break them up into like reasonably sized um, portions so that I can like start going through that. And then once I'm done like breaking them down into categories, I'm going to take Zenith for a walk so he can like move around some. Been like a few hours since I talked to you last but um, after our walk I came back ate dinner and then I've just been like studying for my finals um, but now it's seven o'clock which is when Zenith eats so I'm getting his food also this is when I start getting his Kong ready for the next day so I can show you how I do that okay now I just leave his food there to soak in water for a few hours and then I will put it in his Kong um, so I finished my work for the day, like all my schoolwork and stuff, a little while ago. So I've just been like hanging out and watching TV and crocheting, um, which is good. Like I always try to have a little bit of time every night where I can just like relax and not work. Uh, with finals coming up, I don't know how much that will continue, but at least for now, um, you know, it's nice. So anyway, now I'm gonna go to bed. It's almost midnight, so I have to go get his Kong made. So a little earlier tonight, we filled up a bowl with um, his food and some water to like have it soak and turn into that like good spongy material for our Kong. So next, I just have to go fill up his Kong with that and put it in the freezer so it will be ready for tomorrow. So I see you. So I'm gonna do that. Also, Zenith is just being cute. We're spending some time together. Here. You're a good boy. I always make sure to spend some time just like on the floor with him every day. Usually a couple times a day because, I don't know, it's good for us. It's good for both of us. Um, but yeah. He got these little gummy worms for Halloween. He likes them a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, also tonight while I was um, relaxing... He was chewing on his bone. This is one of his Benny bones. Um, I keep usually two bones out here. There are two out now all the time and I just switch them every few days. And basically at night he likes to chew his bones. Um, I don't know why, it's just like his thing. They're out all day, but he only wants them at night. I don't know, I guess it's a good way for him to relax at the end of a long day too. Not that he has very long days anymore. Oh yeah, and I'll show you quick if you want to see. Look, I made these um, slippers for my grandmother. Aren't they so cute? Um, I crocheted them. That's what I've been working on. I just finished tonight. I made these like purple ones, and I also made like Christmassy red and white ones. So that's what I've been working on, like here and there when I have time. And I just finished them tonight. So that was fun. But anyway, I should go get his Kong done so that I can go to bed because I'm tired. And of course, I have class tomorrow morning. Should we get your Kong ready? 
you know, for tomorrow we have a Kong, right? All right, here is his Kong stuff. As you can see, his food, um, I don't really know if you can tell on the camera or not, but it grew, it's much larger now, and it's kind of all like soft and spongy now. Um, so now I'm going to put this big, soft, wet, spongy dog food into his Kong. He has the extra large extreme Kong. It's like the black one that's supposed to be like really uh, extra durable because he is a very strong chewer. So we need that. He like destroyed his red one in like an hour. So this one works well for us. So now I just use a spoon to fill up his Kong. So I do a half cup of food in his Kong and it is the perfect amount, like the exact right amount of his food to fit in this shaped Kong, which is really nice. And then once I get the Kong like more full, I can use the spoon to push down um, the food and like make more room so that I can fit it all in. Also, I always make sure to do this over the sink because of course it's a very wet uh, thing to do. The extra water keeps like leaking out of the Kong, as you would expect. All right, so then I just rinsed out the bowl and put the Kong back in the bowl with like the opening of the Kong face up so that obviously all the stuff doesn't fall out. And now I just put this in the freezer. All right, there. Now that will be good to go tomorrow morning. All right, Zinas, you ready to go outside? Let's do it, buddy. <laughs> good boy, hi. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video here. I just um, finished up downstairs. I took the ant outside and now I just put him to bed. Here he is. Ah, can you see? He's in his crate for the night. We always like have some snuggle time before bed, so we just finished that up. Um, now I'm gonna obviously like put pajamas on, brush my teeth, do that stuff, and go to bed. Um, so really that was my whole day. Um, honestly, it's pretty boring, you know, like I wake up, I do school, I study, do homework, I take care of my dog, and that's kind of it right now, like, you know, with the online school. Um, but anyway, hopefully this could like help you out or hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I do in a day of online college. Um, I tried to like throw in like vision things and dog things so hopefully it could be like useful to you guys and yeah like for sure when I go back to school like once I go back to school and we have in-person classes again then I'll do like a real day of my life video where I can like actually show you my day but um you know obviously this is uh reality right now and this is what a day of my life in college is like right now so I guess that's self-explanatory anyway I hope you enjoyed um I know I haven't really like made a video in a long time that's just because I've been really busy with school. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. I have finals next week, and then more finals the week after that, and then more finals the week after that. And then after all of those finals, I should like be in a pretty good place. I'll be in between semesters. Uh, I won't have that much to do, so I plan on like making videos then. And then hopefully I can make enough that I can like have some ready to go for next semester too. That's like my plan but I don't wanna make any promises because school is a lot of work and you know, um, that, that comes first for me. So anyway, that's what's going on with that. I have a lot of video ideas though and like I have a lot of things that I wanna do. It's just a matter of like having the time to do the things um, and to do them well. I don't wanna like, I don't know, make a sloppy video. So yeah, that's what's going on with that. You'll get more videos soon, I don't know. Um, I really just filmed this one now because I wanted to get like a day in my life with like this current lifestyle. Um, and next week is finals, so this was my last week of classes. It was my last chance. So I don't know when this will be up, but obviously uh, if you're watching it, it's up. So that's that's good. You know, I don't. We'll just see what happens. But okay, anyway, I should like stop rambling and go to bed. But um, I hope this video helped you out or was interesting. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions about anything in comments. And like, I'll definitely be making more videos soon. Um, it's just like, I have to get through the semester. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.